Good morning, brothers and sisters. This is Sister Susie, and today I do have a dream that the Lord shared with me last night or early morning today, and it is August 28th, 2016, and I, it's, I do believe it's significant, and I want to share with you guys. And uh, here it goes. In the dream, I found myself that I was in a church building, in the church service, actually. And uh, I was going to a church in in real life. I was going to a church, uh, Assemblies of God, here, and it's a very uh, a good size church, medium sized church. And I used to go there. Uh, sometimes I still go there. And uh, so I found myself in this Assemblies of God church. I couldn't see a lot of people there. I mean, I couldn't see the the people. I couldn't see the the minister the pastor, but all I knew was that it was a Sunday service. It was Sunday. And as I'm, you know, in that church, all of a sudden, the service was finished. And uh, I went outside. And as I went outside, we, there's a big parking lot. And normally, in this particular church that I, I go to, there always uh, there's always a lot of cars in the parking lot all the time. I mean, a lot of people go to this church. And... Um, and so I went outside the parking lot in this stream, and there was no car whatsoever. All the cars were gone. All the cars were gone, apart from maybe there were two, two cars on the parking lot. And then I saw one coming. This other one was a, a white car coming. And I was like wondering, where did the people go? I mean, how did the service end? I mean, it was like, I didn't even know that the service ended. And all of a sudden, I went outside, and all the cars were gone. I mean, everything was finished. And as I am uh, contemplating on this, like I said, I see a car, a car, a white car coming towards my direction. And um, and she comes and says, oh, hi, Susie. And I know the girl. The girl uh, is uh, also a friend of mine who goes there. And her name is Glory. And she says, do you need a ride? I said, of course, yes, I do need a ride. Uh, apparently, you know, normally I drive there myself, but in this dream, I didn't have a car, but she had to give me a ride. And so uh, she asked me, um, yeah, I'll give you a ride. Hop in the car. So I go in the car. And then this lady, Glory, um, she had some kind of stuff. Maybe it looked like anointing oil or some other substance that I don't know. And she said that, can I put this on your on your stomach, on your belly? Um, and as I was wondering why she want to put that on my uh, stomach, but she did. Um, it could be anointing or I don't know what that means, but she did that. And then we were, you know, she, she drove off the parking lot and we were going. And as we drove, we were talking about, you know, the Lord. And uh, I was saying, well, you know, the Lord gives different messages to different people, regarding, depending on, you know, the purpose that, you know, the people that he wants to, to reach, to reach out. It's just different messages. I was telling her and she was also talking to me about other stuff. And then uh, after that, you know, as we continued to travel, we were, I was going home and uh, we found ourselves on this other place. Now, it, this other place looks suspended. I don't know. It was just there. It looked like a classroom and people were seated and they were learning. And as we passed through that, now we were, we were no longer in the car, but now I was, we were kind of walking and I walked through this classroom where people are learning. And, and then I tell them, I said, you know, you guys be prepared. An earthquake is coming. I'm warning them. And none of them believe me that an earthquake is coming. And uh, only one girl, only one girl, uh, she paid attention to what I was saying. Uh, and the reason being that, you know, her, her, the Lord had opened her eyes to see a vision while I was talking to her. And, and the Lord opened her eyes and gave her a word. Uh, I forgot on what that word was. But the Lord did give her a word, and, and she knew that what I was saying was the truth. And, and so she, she packed her bags, and she left that classroom, and she she left. Because we were she was supposed to go. There was another gathering of um, uh, Christians uh, happening, and so she needed to go there. So she packed her bags and left that classroom to go where the uh, gathering is at. Meanwhile, I was warning the people there that the earthquake was coming. And, uh, and then we left that place and I found myself now at home where I was going. Now, surprisingly, when I reached home, it wasn't our home here in the USA. It was my home where I come from, which is in Africa. 
I found myself there. And I'm also warning people there that the earthquake is about to strike. And uh, I, I, could discern that, I could discern that people didn't believe that the earthquake was soon to strike. And, and, this, and so after that, uh, there was a, a person appeared that I couldn't see the face. And he had a book. And on this book, it were, it were written names, names of people. Now these names, he said, these are these were the results of um, like second over there they call it a secondary school, which is here a high school. Now after the fourth year of the high school, the students they write exams, and uh, you know in order to part to to go to the next level, which is the university, and so it's like the nationwide they write the exams, and um, and then, uh, and then uh, the results come after maybe two or three months, whatever. And then they, they publish those the names of those who've been selected to go to the university. And the test is called the examination is called MSCE exams. And and so this person had the names of these uh, MSCE exams results. And um, I look and I asked him. I said, How did you find this book? And uh, he said, well, it was just on my desk, and I, 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 I took it, and I said, well, I'm going to look who passed. Uh, and I, I took the Bible, I mean, no, it wasn't Bible, it's a book. I took the book, and I opened it, and I started looking the names of, of those who passed. But, you know, oh, I, could, I don't remember any name of anybody. Um, and I think it's, it's not really important for me to remember who and who, but just to let us know that you know the results are out and the names have been selected and these are the ones who are continuing to the next level which is the university so i did that i know uh, and um you know um i get back the book to the person and, and that was uh, that person also uh, left but you know um i think i'll continue to warn them about the earthquake that is about to strike soon so uh basically that was the end of the dream and um so i wanted to share i think there's an important point in this dream about the church service uh that you know all of a sudden it was finished and i found myself outside and no cars were there and then this lady comes and picks me and the results of this msc msce exams were out you know and uh, the names were in the book and I saw the names, but I couldn't remember any one of them. So saints, I just wanted to encourage you with this. You know, just let's press in. The Lord is saying time is short. Uh, soon we're going to be with our Lord. Uh, you know, I do not know if this dream says the church age is finished or church is over. I do not know, but it does look like that's what it is. And today being a Sunday, you know, and the Lord gives me a, a church, I mean, a dream about a Sunday. You know, I went to church and come back. I mean, I've never dreamed of going to church and coming back, but that was what it is. And uh, so it's just interesting, in very interesting. So I want to encourage you, press in. We are almost out of here. You know, just uh, keep on praying, keep on repenting. And, and those that don't have Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior, do so. He's our only uh, ark of safety. You know, there's no any other way to be saved. Uh, that's only through Jesus, Yeshua, Son of God. All right, all right, saints, I bless you today. Um, be blessed as always, and I love you guys. Till next time, this is Sister Susie saying bye-bye.